Hey guys, so today I'm trying to get a live duel. Um, it's been a while since I tried one of these. Uh, basically, I'm doing it for me. I'll explain more about that in a sec. Um, the deck that I'm using is, forget the name that was in the deck of choice or whatever. It's called Mill Synchro. Um, basically, last week, or last weekend, uh, a few buddies of mine, you know, Swagger, Trump, Backburn, and Panda Black, we we're all going to get into a group chat and use um, decks based on the 5Ds era. Basically, just take a deck, uh, modernize it, make some modifications, you know, whatever you want to say. And just do well with it, like, you know, compete against each other. It's gonna be a tag match, but anyway. Uh, I settled on Synchron Plants, and I threw in some chaos because you know why not. And at the time, I was like, or <laughs> after you guys probably want me to. Um, after I made the deck initially or originally, I went to this Yugi tuber uh, Moonlight Comet. Yeah, Moonlight Comet. And because I knew that he just made a video called Mill Synchro, I'm pretty sure that's it. And then I sl slowly started to realize this is the exact same deck. So even though I made it, you know, I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about the video. I guess it somehow affected, I, I don't know. It was in my, it was in my head when I made the video or when I made the deck. So yeah, was there a point to that? Probably not, but you guys are probably used to that by now. Um, so I, I want to say this is a good hand. I got, I really, I just kind of, okay, like I said, this is more for me because like when I'm on, when I do this, when I'm trying to uh, have live duels, I try to at least think on my plays a little bit. And that's something I just have not been doing all of today. Like I've been playing for most of the day because it's one of my very few or my very rare days off. And I just wanted to play. Um, yeah. So I did, or at least I tried to, and I just, been making like some of the dumbest moves like <laughs> I, I don't know how many of you guys know him, but I played uh, this uh, guy uh, TCG gaming Lewis uh, I'll stick to TCG gaming <laughs> but um I made an asshole of myself in that too like I was using this deck but I just wasn't thinking and I remember I don't know how it would have turned out but I remember like the last play of the game I should have uh, use level eater on quick draw which would allow me to make junk destroyer which would have blown up one of its monsters and the uh, equip spell because I think it destroyed itself it was the uh, he was playing noble Twins. and put simply it should have gone one way but I knew that I was gonna lose and honestly I probably would have lost either way but yeah all right so idea here. I don't think I don't have any plans in the graveyard, do I? It would have been nice to it would have been nice to mill you earlier. No plants, so I could mill you. Or I could put you in the graveyard. And I think I'm going to. And what am I gonna do about you though? Um I can get an eight on the field, I'll get a Stardust or a Scrap Dragon. Uh I really don't want to use Soul Charge right now. Like, if I did use Soul Charge, that would do what? I don't know. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not thinking about anything. I just want to see the results. I want. I want to hear the the special summon thing. That's that's basically why I play this game. I like to hear the special summon sense. I'm like a little kid. Uh, I know that Moonlight Moonlight's really good against Shadals, like really good against Shadals, but I'm just going to go Stardust, because Stardust is actually really good against Shadals too, because they can't really do anything with Stardust. I mean, besides the obvious, uh, Dragon, uh, yeah, bounce it back with Dragon. Um, alright, if I Soul Charge, do I even have a light? Yeah, okay. If I Soul Charge, I would do one, two, and I would make Quasar, okay, that sounds like an idea. Sounds like a plan. So I got you and you, that's it, right? Because I'll banish right in for the black dragon. Then I'd make a five, and then I already have the two here. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do. Keep it simple. Oh, this deck also does play uh, Jewels of Jewels of Valent, that's its card. That's the thing, right? I just re <laughs> I just really like that card. Um whether it's good card or not that's you know up for debate personally i just really like the card i think it's a neat effect and i just enjoy using it 
Uh, malicious. Heels would be nice. <laughs> heels would be nice. I can make a heels. Should I make a heels? Uh, they can't really do anything to heels, so I don't see why not. I mean, they can dragon again, but. Um, and I messed this up before, which is kind of another thing I was talking about, like I keep screwing it up. You aren't going to do me any good in the hand right now. You too will, and so will you. And then I'll do Malicious, because before, like, I summon Malicious and then I put something back on top of Plague Spreader, so it was like, I was going to draw into it anyway, I don't really know why I did that, but yeah, it's in the past, I guess. And why not? Okay, that should be good, but... I'll find a way to fuck it up. Don't worry. I promise. <laughs> um, so if he goes for a fusion, I don't care about it because all their effects are... Hopefully you guys see that. All their effects are irrelevant because Stardust actually just says no. Um, actually, no. Shikin... What's his name? The new one. Uh, Shikin Naga? That can run over Stardust, but again, I don't really think that's the biggest issue right now. Uh, yeah, sure. Because I'm pretty sure, like, when this attacks, Stardust can just negate it because it's it's attempting to destroy, and Stardust says no. And I could say no to that, but again, I don't real like I don't know what's in his hand. I don't want to run into uh. Am I scared of anything? Like, I don't know what he can make this turn that I should be scared of. That's fine. That's also fine. What are you trying to bring back? That, what does this do? Uh, target one shell card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Yeah, that's whatever. Because, I mean, I'll just attack into that later, and then I'll just stop it with Quasar. So it won't get an effect either way. Or it won't get an effect anyway. Um, Armades. Right. Good job. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not making anything. It's not that I'm not thinking it through, it's just that I'm making really retarded mistakes. And now whatever I was trying to play around before, by you know not letting him get the, his effects off, he could still just do it. Like, let's say he, uh, I don't know, right Geki, why not? Then I lose my Quasar, and I don't play Shooting Star, so I'm just left with the Beals. And he's left with everything else, so... That's what I'm talking about, like, I'm just making really stupid plays, and I was hoping that... Having you guys here would keep me responsible. <sighs> okay. Uh, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Um, I can make my own Armadies next turn. I don't know what that is, but I can make my own Armadies run over this. I can use Beals to run over that. Uh, I don't like that. I can't really use you right now. Maybe I can. I completely forgot I had Drill Warrior out there. Uh, okay, what? Putting what? Armadies in the fracking graveyard. Um, alright. So if I bring back Quick Draw, I can pitch, go up old. I would use you to summon Global back. But then I'm just kind of stuck because I don't have enough room. If I put Armadies back, I can. If I put Armadies back, I can bring back Unknown, summon it back out, and then attack over that. If I get. Do I have a Malicious still? I don't know what's banished. 
because just making uh what's it what's it called moonlight is really would be really nice i don't really know how i would make moonlight right now but actually yeah, i just make use these two but having this here too um i'm gonna go with armady's back because i know i can at least make him relatively easily so I, i'm out of all out of malicious yeah all right so Going to normal summon you and bring back. Let's see if I summon. I do have another formula in the great in the deck that doesn't really does it do him any good? Okay, right, I'm running out of time too. So let me see if I bring this back. I can go into Armades. I'll get two tokens. I can do this, okay, that, uh, but then I'm going to be left with, but then I can just summon, the, okay, so I'm going to bring you back, or I'm going to attempt to, I don't know what this is, this might screw me over. Well, if it's just, uh, let's say this is the uh, trap card, the uh, shadow games, I know what this is, if this is a uh, dragon or lizard, I'm screwed. But outside of that, I should be okay. Yes. Because now I'm going to banish this and send this to the graveyard. And with my luck, I'll probably... <laughs> no, even even Fleas is fine. That's actually a good thing if I don't know I don't play Wolf, because if I had Wolf, that would, that would suck. I'm gonna send this off, so then I can use its effect to get a draw off with uh, this thing, formula. Then I can summon this. That's. Really cool. I do have, yeah, I have the dead malicious. I don't really care about. So then I get a draw off. I wouldn't mind drawing into a Feliz, actually, just to give me something to send off with this. Because Lumina would be nice for later, because I still have a Raiden. I still have one Raiden left in the deck. So I have one Raiden, two Lumina, and two, uh, what's his name, Feliz. So, that's not a Feliz or anything I wanted, but okay. Uh, how do I make... No, it just doesn't seem worth it. Uh, so I've used you, banish you, because you don't really good anymore. And do I still have the Black Dragon on the deck? I think I already used him. Yeah. I run... That's nothing, I don't even know the deck. Like, I think I run one of... You go. Oh no, I can run more than that. That's nice. Um, I was going to attack into this with Armadies, but now looking at it, I don't know how much I care about that, because he only has these, so I think... So, Armadies will run over this, assuming he doesn't flip it with this, which he, he misses an opportunity if he wanted to. I destroy this, and then I don't really care if he gets any of these things back. And the first fusion he makes is just going to be bounced back with this. And, I mean, it, it depends. Like, if he has the uh, quick play fusion, then, uh, what's this thing called? Moonlight isn't, I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, Follow-up play-wise, I have a Drill Warriors coming back, right? Yeah, he is. All right, so that's actually really good that I have level leader then, because... It'll come in handy later. Uh, extra deck wise, this is the only thing that's really relevant against your dolls, and I guess Junk Destroyer to keep, I don't know, like to force their effects, if that makes any sense. And Scrap Dragon does the same thing, so I need Michael, Junk Destroyer, Scrap Dragon. Those are really like the cards that I care about right now. 
Okay, so Shekinaga is not getting bounced back. It's going to destroy me. Awesome. Ooh, wait. It does go back because he... Aha! Alright, so the reason he couldn't... Oh, well, there you go. Um, the reason he couldn't activate that effect was because he activated this. So in order for him to have negated my Moonlight, he would have had to not have activated uh, Shadal Beast because the way it works, like these are mandatory effects, and I guess for whatever reason mine is Chain Link 1 and his is Chain Link 2. So that, like, if he had, I mean, he w it wouldn't have allowed him to negate anything, but if he, for whatever reason, could have negated, it would have had to negate this because it's the last in the Chain Link. Um, I'm going to look this over. Hopefully it was okay. Uh, I actually don't think I played horribly, which... <laughs> is good for today is uh, well yeah it's good for how compared to how the rest of the day is gone so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed um i'll probably get into like one or two more and try and record them as well so uh yeah i'll talk to you guys later later guys